I wonder what this is. to another video. It's an exciting one. I think I say that at the start of every video these days, but nonetheless, it is an exciting one as my Cervelo Caledonia 5 has arrived. This thing is an absolute beauty and it perfectly complements my Cervelo P3X, which if you haven't seen the video on thus far, then look for this thumbnail here. And you can see what that tri bike looks like and in all of my recent triathlon and bike related training videos, it's in there. So I have basically got a few rides out of this. I've built it obviously as you can see but what we're going to do is we're going to go back in time and get me unboxing it, building it, building it, basically sticking the front wheel on and then what I'm going to do is just give you a bit of a breakdown of how I've got on since I've started using it as well as take you out on a training ride with me just to run you through how it all feels, looks etc etc etc. Before we go any further a couple of things to ask from you. First of all if at any stage you enjoyed the video please do drop it a like down below it massively helps out the channel and I would hugely appreciate it. Secondly if you haven't already don't see any reason at this stage why you wouldn't have done please subscribe down below and thirdly please comment your thoughts feelings and expressions down below unless you're an absolute road cycling nose and have nothing but negative things to say about triathletes and anybody that doesn't ride on Jura race. Seems like there's a lot of you out there according to TikTok and Reels that I've done recently. But anyway, moving on, moving on. What I'm going to do now is take you back to when this arrived and jump in a few times where I've made a few errors along the way. And then from that point onwards, I'll let the rest of the video unfold and speak for itself. So first up, Cervelo have kindly sent us some kindling for the fire for the winter, which is very considerate. And as you can tell by the sunlight, we're getting hit pretty hard already. But I'll get rid of this. We have a wheel. And excitingly, this is a set of the Reserve 35s, which are Santa Cruz road wheels. So the teenager in me that used to idolise mountain bikers that rode Santa Cruz and Santa Cruz skateboards is pretty happy right now. It's not silver. There we have it, and first impressions are, it weighs next to nothing. At this point in the past, what I did was went on a long, garrulous, detailed ramble about all the specs of the Ultegra Di2 disc Caledonia 5, which was what I was expecting. However, Cervelo have not, in fact, sent me that one, as you might have been able to gather from the detailed shots in the intro. This is, in fact, the Caledonia 5 ETAP Axis, AXS, sorry, disc 2021 12-speed drivetrain. I think that's the title officially as it is sold but there we are so basically it is the force components rather than the shimano ultegra di2 components which is great i've already had a few rides out on it it's feeling fantastic but i thought i'd clear that up as the video kind of doesn't make sense with the way i'd spoken about it in the past but i was expecting one thing another arrived that equally as enticing as the other and so far so good back to where i was all i need to do now is get the front wheel on and get to work. This has actually turned into not much of a bike unboxing nor that much of a build so we're almost ready to get straight to work but I always forget about the faff of having to put pedals on whenever you get a new bike so pull me eh. 
There we have it, that is both wheels on. I'm gonna get this set up as quickly as I can for a ride, but for the sake of time pressure, I'm gonna get that done, go out for a ride, and then we'll pick this up for a bit of a review update on how I've got on, how I've set it up, etc. in the short term, in the next couple of days, so goodbye. So at this point, I'm already a few rides deep, so I've got a pretty informed opinion of how everything feels and how I'm getting on with it. But what I'm gonna do now is take you on a training ride with me, talk as I go, show you a few of the detailed shots, just take you on the ride with me and break down how it's all feeling. Then we'll do a bit of a review once I get back, the pros, the cons, the comparisons, and just open it up to any questions that you have in the comments down below. But without any further ado, let's hit the roads. Good evening, so ride complete, just a 20 kilometer hard blast. I think average watts were around 240, 250. But what I'm gonna do is just run you through the sort of features on the bike and then give a bit of a comparison between the P3X and this, but what I'm gonna do is a separate video on that and I'm actually gonna compare and contrast time up and down a hill to see which is faster, what the pros are, what the cons are. But as I've mentioned, this is the Caledonia 5 with the Force ETAP. AXS. So it's different to the Ultegra Di2s that I've got on the P3X and the main difference is that we've just got electric gearing here. It's also wireless completely so that's a pretty nice touch that's different and the main difference is on the P3X you just go down 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 and it changes on the big ring that way or up 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 and it goes up that way but if you double tap here and here at the same time then that will take you from ring to ring so there's an innuendo in there. Feel free to go mad in the comments, but that is the main difference in terms of gearing. The wireless element's cool, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. It's not like the wires are hugely obvious on the P3X, but very, very cool. Again, just means you need to remember to charge them every six months or so. I've sort of best guessed my saddle height and thus far it's been feeling okay. I've got a pair of 105 pedals on at the moment, which is cycling sacrilege but it needs must at the moment because I don't have any other pedals. I have ordered another set, but they have not yet arrived. Thus far, everything's feeling really solid. It's a completely different position for me. I haven't been on a road bike since 2019, so it's a bit weird being more upright, but getting down onto the sort of lower bars is proving fun. I'm just learning to sort of move slightly differently on it, slightly different muscle groups, etc., etc. but so far, I'm just enjoying having a bike I can grab and go and don't feel like such an obnoxious dick being on the roads in public for just a training ride on. If I'm on a big Saturday, I'm sort of in for a big one. I don't feel too bad on the tri bike, but just a casual cruise on a Thursday evening. It's a bit obnoxious the other one, isn't it, really? So disc brakes, these are so solid, and I had a ride on the P3X at the weekend, and just the lack of control in comparison, etc., is remarkably different, because tri bikes, TT bikes, you've got a lot less control. Round corners, this thing is nimble. Up hills, this thing feels solid and I'm just feeling pretty solid about it, you know? It's all thus far going really, really nicely. A few features I need to add, I need to get some water bottle holders for here and here, because obviously the main dip, one of the main differences between a road bike and a tri bike is you don't have all the storage integrations that you do on a tri bike. So that's something I'm not particularly used to, but the mount that came with the bike perfectly has my bike computer. These are adjustable as well. So far the Santa Cruz Reserve 35 mil wheels are fantastic and I'm not a cycling channel, I'd go into deep, deep detail on the specs. What I'm gonna do is link you to the specs in the description down below rather than reeling them off all here because there's no point in doing it to death and at the end of the day, you can look it up yourself if you're a total nose for all the data, all the details and all the sort of nitty gritty details. At the moment for me, this is just a great option for the P3X, which is my main tri bike and where the bulk of my work is being done. But I'm gonna stick that on the turbo over the next few weeks because it is getting colder, getting wetter. It seems a bit ridiculous being out on the tri bike when I'm not enough, not able to spend enough time in the tri position because of the weather, etc., etc. So having this is an absolute godsend. I think we'll all agree it looks very cool, I'm not gonna lie. 
was a bit disappointed when it arrived and it wasn't black, but more for me because I love it now and I think I need to change up my wardrobe a little bit. I'm actually in white today, which is unlike me, but normally I'm head to toe monochrome, so this is a little bit of a break from that as we hit the Barney the Dinosaur colour color scheme here, but Cervello, thank you very, very much yet again. Huge, huge, hugely thankful for all their support and for anyone interested, I am a size 56. So, I say again, without going into too much detail, there's not much more for me really to say there. At this point, I'm gonna close things off. If you are wanting death by detail, the specs are down in the description below, along with all the other links that sit there for online coaching. Gymshark shopping links, all that stuff is down there, so please do check that out. If you haven't already, please do give the video a like, comment down below, and make sure that you have subscribed. That is just a general overview without going full cycling nores for you to digest. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. It gives me lots of options, gives me lots of ways to cruise around the roads. Who knows, maybe I'll see some of you out there soon enough. But thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.